what up beautiful people welcome back to the channel today we're going to be going over how to successfully shut down your opponent's run in ncaa 25 the run game is super crucial if you cannot stop rpos if you cannot stop the run game your opponent is going to hit you in every single angle but luckily today I'm gonna give you guys the best run defense and formula for both RPO and runs. If you enjoying the content, drop a thumbs up on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and comment down below what you wanna see in the next video breakdown. Also, we have 60 days of giveaways. Pay attention to the entire video and the past videos might have playstation and xbox codes in them we're going to be doing giveaways up to christmas let's get into today's video all right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to pinch our defensive line once they stop moving we're going to crash inside or slant inside so that'll be left d pad right stick down you want to get that angle right there so sometimes you have to do it two times. Now I'm gonna push wire triangle, shade underneath, that's gonna be right stick down. Defense is all set up, okay? So this is how the play is looking. Now with my user, I always take one step back and this is the strong side of the formation. So pay attention to where is more people at. I will go off to the left a little bit, okay? I don't wanna be targeted by the line. And then depending on what the run is, is how I'm gonna shoot my gaps. So right here, once they hike the ball, it's a pitch. I'm gonna come down here, click off, make the tackle, okay? Tackling is super hard. If you cannot force your opponent to pass the ball, it's gonna be a long, long game on defense. So these tips are gonna be crucial. So the running back is on the right-hand side. If it's a run, he has to go in front of the quarterback from a shotgun, okay? So if he's on the left-hand side, you know the run has to go across the quarterback's face. So right here, we're going to pinch the line, crash down two times to make sure it register because you want to make sure you are getting these inside angles. Now, right here, I'm going to move back a couple steps and off to the right, okay? I'm going to move off to the right because I want to either be able to come down here or I want to be able to shoot around and make them cut back and then once we hike the ball i'm gonna come down come around boom meet him right there okay now tackling is hard like i say but if you can stop your opponent from running the ball and force him to do play actions and pass the ball you are in a great spot so right there i man that guy up he's just standing still and now he's coming to help okay so as you can see i'm off to the right they're not targeting me i'm coming free Boom, later hit stick. That's a small gain, if any. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna pinch line, shade down, crash inside two times, and then don't never be afraid to move players. So if this is a hard flat, move them around, do whatever you wanna do. All right, so now let's go over RPOs. Okay, so you can do the same thing. Cover three drop, nickel three three stack. You can set your defense up. You can crash down. Pinch a line, crash inside two times, depending on where the RPO person is at. I like to cross man somebody and move him in a couple steps to make sure he don't get picked up. Now get yourself out of the radar. And then we're going to go hike the ball, try to throw the RPO. And you can see great defense and reaction on the RPO. That was perfect defense right there. Okay, so you can use or shoot the run. And then now you have great RPO defense. And if that guy does a streak down the field, you have the hard flat and somebody manned up on them. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna shade down, pinch the line, crash inside two times, and then move your hard flat in a step. So you can cross man him, get your user ready for the run, and boom, you right there for the run, and you right there for the pass. Any other questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure that you guys are commenting on videos so I can cook up whatever it is that you are struggling with. Let's go.